Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. I'm here with the amazing April. Oh, I get a nice one today. Thank you. It won't last. <laughs> and the lovely Laura. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, you see, yeah. I can be alliterative too. Here, here with the awful April and the lovely Laura. Yeah. And that complete waste of space called Simon. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Simon's wonderful. Fish for and got, ladies. Fish for and got. <laughs> oh, Simon. Okay, we were <laughs> we were at the end of the last episode, about to hear a great revelation. We're going about to find out who is a member of the Wings of Light. Ooh. My money is is on Ryo, and he's just been brainwashed to forget his awful, awful <laughs> past. <laughs> right, so here we go. I won't rely on my deals, Ryo. If you're looking for a member of the Wings of Light, you won't have to look far. The way she said it, there was definitely more meaning to it, but... Obligatory ellipsis joke. <laughs> what do you mean? You're already well acquainted with him. Why didn't you ask that otaku friend of yours for help with Claire? Wait. You mean Alex? Do you have any other otaku friends who moved here several months ago and you can't remember what they sounded like when you did their voice? <laughs> I think I did the voice. You did now. <laughs> He's a nerd obsessed with big-eyed girl shooting magic bullets. There's okay. no way he'd be mixed up in anything like the Wings of Light. Oh, harsh. <laughs> Fine. Don't believe me then. See if I can. But if you want to know more, you should ask him about it. Ellipsis. <laughs> mm, you're right. Your obliviousness is painful. That's why I'll give you another freebie. Hmm. Rina dropped out all of her ex extracurricular activities three months ago. Don't take it from me, though. Ask her about it yourself. None of her information makes any sense. Alex the Otaku used to be Sydney. <laughs> And Rena's weird behavior. If she actually has a lot of free time on her hands, why is she so busy lately? But Sophia has no reason to lie to me, and as a journalist verifying her facts before reporting them is undoubtedly second nature to her. Yeah. <laughs> as crazy as all of it sounds, it's probably true. Still. Well, it's all pretty incredible, you know. It's no skin of my back, if you don't believe me. Look, here, my skin's here. You know, it's on my back. It's, it's perfectly untouched. Yes, my back is as smooth as a baby's bottom, which is more than I can say about my bottom. <laughs> but I have other things to do if we're finished here. I'm willing to exchange information again sometime if you stumble on anything else interesting. Or photographs of Claire changing. One the other. <laughs> Take care, Ryo. By the way, though... You might want to think about making some changes to your social circle. Your life will turn out a lot more stable that way. Mm, Look at me, Laura you're not blusting after you. You're not paying any attention at all. <laughs> Laura would love if she didn't have to do the Rena voice ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave me a bit sore-throated after that. Well, I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> With that off-handed mark hanging in the air, Sophia takes a leave. Who is she to pass judgment? There's nothing wrong with my friends. Lunch break is almost over. I'd better hurry back to class and eat whatever Rena's left of my lunch. <laughs> I wolf down my food and brace myself for the next lecture. Today we'll be starting the next chapter. I'll read your books and leave me alone. <laughs> it's no good. My mind quickly wanders to everything Sophia told me earlier. Alex, he can't be one of those infamous Wings of Light guys, can he? He's never shown the slightest interest in anything but animated girls. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm in a computer game. Oh, well, I'll be seeing him today anyway. There's no use speculating either way when I can just ask him. True. He has a body pillow with a uh, an anime character on it. <laughs> so, Alex, I've heard a rumor that you've been playing hide the salami with everyone at school. Is this true? 
<laughs> I pack my books a few minutes in advance, so the second the bell rings, I dash out of the classroom. Through the window, third floor, bad idea. <laughs> I dump my school bag at home and change into casual clothing. Uh, still haven't moved that shirt. <laughs> no, it's part of the pattern, remember? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Custom content. Uh, uh, the thing is, okay, right? A, this is supposed to be a bloke's bed, and he's got three pillows, including a, a, a little, little pillow in the middle that's designed to cuddle. <laughs> no man will ever do that. I don't like those pillows. You just end up throwing them on the floor. They're for hmm. design purposes. Yes, I have those pillows. Yes, that's <laughs> why no man will ever do that, yes. <laughs> but they look lovely when the bed's on me. But when I want to go to bed, I just crawl yeah. into bed. <laughs> I know, but I always like to have my bed all nicely made. When I was, when I was a never... teenager, I, d I dated a girl who had a bed full of uh, teddy bears and things like that. And I was looking at the bed, and it's the first time I started thinking about these sort of things, thinking... You know, by the time you actually get organised to go to bed, it's time to get up. <laughs> yeah, no, I very mm. rarely make my bed, Laura. Oh no, I just feel dishevelled. Like my the mother's whole, the same. Uh, the whole house <laughs> just would feel totally dishevelled if it wasn't made. If your bed weren't made, the entire house would feel dishevelled? Yes! <laughs> oh my god! I wouldn't let anybody into my house without my bed made. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just don't let anyone into my house. It's a terribly lonely night. I don't know. My mum's always taught me that no matter what, even if you didn't do anything else in your room, if you make your bed, that's the minimum. And it's just always stuck with me. When I go to bed, I just want to get into bed. How lazy are you? Okay, guys. <laughs> I have not argued anything to the opposite of that. Yeah, comments, okay. Let's, let's have a quick poll in the comments. Do, do you make your bed? Do you not make your bed? Do you really care? I think they would care. And I'm definitely in the no and meh camp myself, but there you go. You don't make your bed either. Um, I'm somebody in a factory somewhere made it. That's good enough for me. Fair enough. I'm the freak. Okay. Never mind. Well. <laughs> It's Alex. Yeah, it's Alex. <laughs> hey, Rio. Glad you could make it. He looks like a skirt chaser. He's quite handsome. <laughs> Let's head over to the cosplay cafe. Cosplay <laughs> cafe. Cosplay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. How did you con me into this again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Go on, Laura. Go on. Oh, that... This looks like a Facebook game. <laughs> 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 Welcome back, Master. Whoa, Master. Facebook? The power. I've never been addressed like that way in my life. It looks like I have a new master today. <laughs> That's correct. Ryo. This is one of the maids working here. I'm very happy you came to see me today, Master. <laughs> She's got my colour here. And you, <laughs> Master. May I take your orders? We both have today's special. <laughs> Is he wearing his pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Two daily specials coming right up. It's just basically a lap dance and a cookie. <laughs> da -da, what more da -da. do you want? <laughs> Nipple What's tassels. the special today? Does it have tassels? Yes. Nipple tassels. <laughs> <laughs> Those are called pasties. <laughs> Whatever they have lying around, it's about to go out of date, probably. Nipple tassels never go out of date. <laughs> this is the reason why when you're in Cornwall, be very, very careful when asking for a Cornish pasty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the finger. That's funny. <laughs> I'm kidding. The food here is really good. In the meantime, just relax and relish the atmosphere. I don't know. The food at Hooters is not good. Like, these theme <laughs> places don't usually have good food. I said, I'll bear that in mind. When we were at Florida last time, I said to Chris, can we go to Hooters? I was like, I really want to go. And he was like, if you want, but then we never got around to it. And he was like, oh, is this, <laughs> you're probably the only wife in the world that actually says, can we go to Hooters? <laughs> I just know. I just, I a the, lot of women are curious about that. I've heard the wings were okay. 
So I, I went to high school with a lot of girls that work at the local Hooters, so. You and I could get a job in a Hooters. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we'd want to, but we could. Carry on, Simon, sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> Simon, think about um, our boobs. <laughs> I do that every nine seconds. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to, <laughs> but I do. No, that's the line. <laughs> I know. Joking. Why not? Because only eight seconds have passed. <laughs> it's pretty weird to have a girl your own age following you around and calling you her master, you know? Yeah, okay. It's pretty weird. But hey, at least she's cute and made to the best. <laughs> I glance around cautiously, taking in the brightly colored posters and figures decorating the room. The dolls. Hmm. There sure is lots of anime stuff. I make a bland observation, trying not to stare at the other patrons. I wonder what attracts people to a place like this. I should imagine it's the legs and the breasts. But, <laughs> hey. Do they sell any of it here? Sorry, the anime stuff. Do they sell any of that here? Uh, they do. There's plenty of manga you can buy if you're interested. And they do enough business to install that expensive widescreen TV, which I'm about to steal. <laughs> I nod at the massive plasma television they set up at the far end of the cafe. Plasma? How old is this game? It's currently <laughs> like, it's showing brightly colored. <laughs> <laughs> it's currently showing brightly colored images of perky girls dancing to some high energy song. Hey, I this feel game's cheated. probably older than some of the people listening to it. I... <laughs> Big screens are vital to a cafe like this. Whenever an anime special airs, they always turn it into an event. It's great to hang out with fellow fans and watch the drama unfold on such a nice big TV. That TV is not that big. <laughs> it was in 2006. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Sounds like fun, I guess. Kind of. Of course, anime events are fun. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like choking on my tongue. And the more people, the better. One time I even went to a convention in Japan and there were about half a million attendees. Watch out, guys. April's tongue is escaping. <laughs> Stab it <laughs> as it goes past. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize it was that popular. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, the anime and doujin industries are pretty huge over there. Here's your order. Made. Two strawberry sundaes. Please enjoy, master. Strawberry sundaes are their special. Uh, I'm sorry. If you're going to go around calling me master, okay, the forehead must completely touch the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and you, master. Well, that was English, master. <laughs> master. <laughs> master. Thank you. You've been watching way too much time, I know. Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm practicing it with Chris. It's really funny, actually. Oh no, I don't mean the master. <laughs> Pardon me, my lord. There's a bad joke at the door. I didn't mean that. I meant the whole English accent. Yep. Although it is Valentine's Day, so you could bend for a treat. <laughs> Get yourself a lolly dress and call him master. No, I, I, look, look, okay, you've been married for a little while here, okay? So if you start calling Chris master all out of the blue, he's going to start wondering what you want. <laughs> Yeah, I might try it for a laugh. <laughs> right, carry on. Will you be coming again on Friday this week? Uh, I'm thinking, suddenly thinking long-tailed cats in a rocking chair factory. <laughs> what? Yeah. what do you want? What have I done? What do I need to do? I can't what wait I to forgotten? see a childhood friend win for once. I don't know. The... Sundari. Sundari is, thank you, is pretty popular. It seems like she might win this time. Yes, hold a tissue she knows next time you say Sundari. <laughs> Sundari! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are they talking about? Quite it's fun. a code, I tell you. Seemingly oblivious to my confusion, the maid turns and hands me a card. Why did you fill out this survey? You'll be entered into a draw to win a collector's edition of Storyteller's Eternal. And Storyteller's Eternal what? <laughs> Wow, that's a pretty sweet prize. There were only a few hundred of them ever produced, and they really pulled out all the stops for the bonuses. There's actual achievements and everything. <laughs> There's an actual <laughs> copy of the Librum of the Gods, and even a working replica of Yuri's loot. 
Oh, why? Hey, question. Mm-hmm. I, um, if somebody's robbing a, a music store, <laughs> does that make him a looter? <laughs> oh, 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 Simon. <laughs> you guys going to talk about Downton Abbey? I'll do the bad jokes. <laughs> Uh, I enjoyed that one. That tickled my fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to fill one out too? She hands Alex another card. Of course. The production values on that game are fantastic. And the character designs are by... Are by... Are... What? Huh? Character <laughs> designs are by far as incredible as always. It's just a misprint. Yes, it's it's uh, graphic. It's oh, visual novel spelling. It's wonderful stuff. The okay, maybe it's Are. It might be the name of someone. Yeah, well, uh. should put a capital letter at the front of it. Yeah. <laughs> I especially loved her art for the Catgirl twins in Aliens vs. Felines. The attention <laughs> to detail on their ears was arousing. <laughs> well, I don't, know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm completely convinced that he is a member of the Wings of Light. I mean, just listen to this underwear loosening conversation. <laughs> Anti-melter. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to believe that this guy... You see, Rio agrees with me. It's getting harder and harder to believe that this guy would ever land a girlfriend, much less something... Uh, be some sort of legendary playboy who falls for a guy obsessing over things like the Catgirl Twins from Aliens vs. Felines. Oh, I know a few. Though now I think about it more. Hmm. <laughs> twins. But I guess there's no harm in asking. I fill out the survey and scribble down my email address and other contact information and then hand the card over to the maid. Thank you very much, Master. Alright, here's mine too. Alex hands the card back to the maid as well. Thank you very much, Master. I hope you both enjoy your Sundays. It's Saturday. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, that the ma <laughs> now that the maid is gone, this is probably a good time to confront Alex. I wait till he's looking the other way and bludgeon him across the back <laughs> of the head. Seems like a good way to start. Say, Alex, can I ask you a question? Sure thing. Can I ask you another question? Sure thing. Can I ask you another question? No. <laughs> I'm okay. kidding. Sure thing. No, well, that's that's a problem because this one is a statement. I heard you were a player. Oh, yeah, you cut out for a second there, Simon. Well, of course, fighting games are awesome. No, not that kind of player. I mean, like. You like picking up girls. Well, I have been playing a lot of dating sims lately, but you need some advice on one? Shiori's root in Sora no Shoujo can be pretty tricky. Yes, I see what you really, really need is a blow from this clue bat. <laughs> Fortunately, I brought several. Sora no Shoujo means Sky Girl. No, no, no. I mentioned real life, picking up real girls. Don't be silly, Ryo. The things that work, the things that work in Gal, I don't know that one. Uh, Gal just don't apply to real life. Um, if you tease this, if you tease the Sundere, I bet she'd hate you. Bless she. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought playing dating sims would help you get a girlfriend, you're sadly mistaken. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having a really hard time getting a girlfriend. <laughs> Alex, listen to me. I've heard you might be a notorious pickup artist from a group called the Wings of Light. I need to know that if it's true, I... I need help. Yo. Yeah. Just listen. My friend Claire's boyfriend is abusing her. I have to make her break up with him. No, it's totally her fault. <laughs> if you know anything about how to hurt her, I... Please... You have to help me out. Mm, you're serious, aren't you? Yo. Look, look at me. <laughs> I don't like real girls. They're too much trouble. Anime girls are much simpler and less demanding. Look at that serious face. He's like, you don't understand my way of life at all. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
He's not denying it outright. If he wasn't one of them, wouldn't he just say so and laugh it off? If he doesn't want to talk to me about it, I can't make him, but maybe I can still get him to help me out in a more indirect way. So, yeah, and the music that something stupid about to happen is just started. <laughs> so, if you were designing a dating sim, how would you make it more realistic? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me put my finger up. <laughs> well, first, <laughs> I'd add a stat called personal strength. What, you mean like that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Personal strength? What's that? It would represent things like your confidence and self-esteem. If your PS is low, then you won't have good conversations with your dates. Or you might have fewer choices to improve your relationship. Is this the game giving us a tutorial because we suck? <laughs> Most probably. <laughs> and if it's very, very low, you might end up in a situation where you're PS'd off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... How do you gain or lose PS? If you want to improve your your intelligence, then you study. If you want to improve your physical skill, you work out. But what about PS? Well, resting would give you a slight boost, but that's a boost, but that's a pretty inefficient way of increasing your personal strength. Mostly, it would increase from successful social interactions. Hanging out with people a lot would be the best way to raise it. But saying the wrong thing in a conversation would decrease your PS stat. But wouldn't that lead to a vicious cycle? If you had a low PS stat, you wouldn't have good choices to raise it, so you'd never get it very high. Hmm, that's true. That kind of thing would have, ha would have to be balanced out properly. But I think there are a few ways you could do that. Like? Talking to other people who aren't romantic interests, for example. So, talking to your friends? Wink, wink. Yeah, mm. it's a little cliche, but you typically have at least one character whose role in the story is to give the player information. Talking to that person I don't help. know who you're talking about. <laughs> An informant? Well, I have one of those already, though. I don't know how much I can trust her. But I suppose it would be game-breaking if you could just gain PS whenever you called up that character. I wonder how I could fix that. Okay, so having a high PS would generally be a good idea. Yep, the PS stat would have a cap like other parameters, but the limit wouldn't go up as easily as HP or MP would. If there's magic, shouldn't there be some kind of recover PS ability? No way. That'd be way too easy. But maybe a few PS points that would completely recover all of your MP. Personal strength really is the key to everything, then. Yes, and sending $500 to this postal address. <laughs> you got it. It's a start, but what about the dating aspect? Okay, okay. So how would you actually get a date with a girl? Well, normally, you would just focus all your time on a girl, and eventually she'll start to like you. Whoa! There should probably be more to it than that, though. Yeah. Yes, I find climbing a tree outside of a bedroom window helps. <laughs> called... That might be just me. That's called a pant. No, part. I find it works as well. <laughs> more? Like what? If all you have to do is spend time with her, that's too easy. But you don't want to make it feel unnatural or too hard, either. It's something that game developers are always struggling to find the right balance between. Woe to me to be a game developer. <laughs> I don't think we can work out all the mechanics in one session over Strawberry Sundays. Yeah, probably not. <clears throat> We chat a little more about dating sims in various anime series before we part ways, and what happens then is going to be the subject of the next episode. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, dum dum dum. Yes, oh. it's a little cliffhanger. It's yeah, more like a sort of hillock hanger. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps, perhaps a slightly high wall hanger. You just need someone's hand to help you down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, not there. No. Right. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much. I hope you all had fun uh, watching this, and I hope you all had fun voicing this. Yeah. Uh, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been a long conversation about something or other with a game wrapped around it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they like. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope you like Downton Abbey, guys. <laughs> I don't know about Downton Abbey, but Downton Abbey's quite good. Oh, I'm sorry, if that's what it's called. Is it? oh, no, I don't care. Uh. Anyway, thank you and good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.